Uh, Unicorn says, I feel like my control of the heroes is relatively decent, but I lack map awareness and strategic thinking. What's the best way to learn more about those parts in your opinion? Hmm. All right, let's, let's keep those two elements separately. First, map awareness. Map awareness is just like Reckoning driving a car. You know how to drive the car, you know how to speed up, slow down, brake, steer, and so on. But you must keep looking in your rear mirror, side mirrors, dead corner, like blind corner, I think it's called in, in English. That is your due diligence to make sure you're safe. And it's the same thing with heroes. First, you must deliberately train to create repeated moments to look on the minima. Then, you must get comfortable with it. If you still forget from time to time, it's probably because you're in a new mechanical situation. And just like you might forget to look in your car rear mirror, mirror if you are in a dangerous new situation where someone is like trying to go into your life. I mean, you should if you're very good and experienced, but first deliberate training, then comfortability. That's the summary. Now the other one. You said, uh, let me just read it. You said strategic thinking. It's a pretty broad categorical topic, but uh, to train your strategical thinking, you need to basically think about the game when you're not playing. You can't think about it while you're playing. You can't learn in a game, generally speaking. So for example, if you lose a game, think, what could I have done differently? Why did I do what I did? Should I have made that decision? Should my team have? How could I have done it differently? What would come out of it? You don't always know the answer, but the question itself is most important. We do a lot of things without reason or without thinking about it. You want to kind of challenge yourself in all your standard habits to see if those habits are still effective. For example, if I see 20 minions on the map, no one in the lane, my initial response is go and soak it. It's a very strong pull. It is intrinsic to how I play the game. However, sometimes it can be bad. For example, there could be a trap on your way there. Or maybe you can add even more value in the team fight if you don't go there. But other times you need to do exactly that. Then how do you do it? So challenge everything and then try to sharpen your judgment and your decision making process. And again, it's a deliberate process until you get more comfort in it. Hi Grubby, I want to be a better person like you. How do you manage your anger to not get salty or tilted? Uh, this requires a really long answer. Because I also still get tilted or salty. It still happens. But less than before. And especially less than 12 years ago. I guess it's different for everyone. But mostly it's remembering what else you have going in your life. And I know that seems really overblown. And it's like, why would you need to have perspective? It's just a video game. Just don't be angry. But people who say that, they don't really get us. We really care about winning, about playing the game and doing well and so on. We really care. So, uh, it is about having perspective Let's fly. now for me sometimes that didn't work because i didn't have anything it else going on in my time. life or so i thought and of course you can always say that there's something going on in your life first of all you are alive secondly you are healthy if you are if you're not then i imagine you could get even angrier and it takes a very mature spirit to not get too upset at uh, having a, you know, unluckier lot in life. But let's say if you are healthy, you have a roof over your head, even though you're not particularly excited about some parts of your life, that is still enough reason not to get too angry about the game. Now, for some people, when you play the game, there are actually additional ambitions, such as going pro gamer. And then if you're failing, it really feels like you're failing at everything you're trying to amount to in life. So, and, and this is how all sportsmen feel. Because you cannot be a top sportsman in a competitive game unless you are very 
very ambitious and you make it your number one passion and your number one goal in life to be good at that and then when it's not working that does feel dark but the important thing to remember is that to get better at the game or at your passion whatever it is you must enjoy yourself it is number one if you are not if you are not I aiming at enjoying yourself, but you need to get better just because you feel like you have to, either for yourself or because of other people's expectations on you, you're in a very stressful situation. So ideally, keep finding ways to enjoy yourself. If you're trying to push through a wall that's just, it's not even a bit of fun, go around the wall. Don't go through. Go play some brawl. Go play some team league. Heck, ah, even take a break from the game. And remember what you love about the game. Now, if there isn't anything you love about it, then I don't think you should be keeping keep, uh, keeping on to play it. But if there is, taking one step back will offer you some perspective. Will allow you to enjoy the game again. And then, once you are ready with motivation, reinvigorated, and you start on the game again, get some goals for yourself. Keep I want to get better at do. this. I want to get better at that. And then after the end, at the end of the day, try to evaluate. Did I learn something today? This realm and no matter how many me. games you lose or win in a day, falls into nothingness compared to, did I learn something? Either about life or about the game. And when you do learn something, then that is something you take away to the next day. And that is why you should always have a goal when you're training. Don't just go and play and say like, I'm going to willpower to win as many games as possible because I need to prove to myself that I can be a high win rate player. That doesn't matter. That will happen automatically. Meetings, Nor can you truly practice micro very easily. It will happen automatically through playing a lot and, and wanting to achieve your goals. Just set out on a day and say, I want to get better at not dying in lane or I want to get better at following up my uh, Tyrande stun on my tanks. And then... Paying attention to that can make you feel really satisfied about your day, even if you lost everything. Because you can just, you can learn and improve. And it gives you a, a sense of self-worth. And then you'll have more fun as well. So every time you get angry, take a break and, and reflect on this. Try a little storm stout. Worth it? 